Alright guys, this just came in from Diet Dynamics. It is our new SS5 LED pod lens. We got five of them. And we also got this during their July 4th sale. So we actually saved a lot. So we're actually going to change the color of our pod lens from our light bar. This is what's inside the box. Hopefully this will be a nice easy install. We are now swapping the lights from our light bar. Just five of them since we already got uh, number one and number seven right there. <laughs> so for us to swap the lenses, we would have to remove it from the light bar first. Yeah. So we have to dismantle the whole thing. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. We are using the Bronco tool to remove these three screws right here. And I already loosened it and I'm just holding it all in my side right now. So we just removed the three screws right here and we actually removed this. And then uh, we actually brought the brackets even lower to reduce more wind noise. And then this is it right here. She unplugged the main one connecting to the trigger yeah. switch. And we are now going to bring this inside. So this is how our Bronco looks like without the light bar. Wow, uh, it looks kind of stockish in a way. I'm not used to seeing it without the light bar. We are ready to swap our lenses from there. We got some of the, or we got all the tools needed to do the swap. We found the right tool for it. Was that an Allen wrench? Yeah. So she already dismantled one part already and then after she dismantles that we are going to open the lens up we got one uh unscrewed from the light bar and we are now going to open up the lens so we are using a torque screw so we will be swapping this for that mm -hmm. we just finished removing all the screws and look how easy that was. Wow, there's the inside right there. And we are now going to swap it with this. Now we're just gonna screw it all back on again. Four more to go. Yeah. And we are now unscrewing the links here. We ran into one problem here. We had a hard, hard time removing this. It's the last uh, screw too. So we went ahead and bought ourselves a screw extractor. Yeah. Yep, screw extractor right there. So this is our new light system right here. And this is how the amber lights looks like. So right there in the middle, or not in the middle, well, yeah, kind of by the middle, how it's not that yellow, but bright yellow. And then if I turn it off, that's how it looks like. There we go. So that's the difference right there. And then if I turn on the light bar, hold on, I'm just gonna go this way. It's on. There you go. That's how it looks like. So we still have two white lights. And yup, that's how the brightness looks like. And not sure if you guys could tell, but we also made the bracket and moved it to a the lowest setting so we don't know how this is going to be like with sound noise but it seems like that the lower that we put it the less noise it makes and hopefully we would have a better clearance go entering the parking structure testing out our new um, setup for our dynamic ss5 light bar so we lowered the uh, configuration of the bracket and it is now quieter yeah wow it's that's a little cool. quieter yeah a little bit quieter mm -hmm. but remember we got no top on so yeah. that, we don't hear any like whooshing sound yeah so that's cool all right guys we are now removing our light bar again and we are using our bronco tool to remove these three screws right here and there's our Bronco tool right there. Just finished removing our light bar again. And we are going to actually replace the whole SS5. Yeah, we have to remove this because this is the one that... 
Oh, they got jammed. There you go. It got stuck. Yeah. So this is the one that we're going to be sending back. Yep. And then we're going to replace it with the new one. All right. So this just came in today from Dai Dynamics. We actually told them about our uh, screw right here. Yeah, we told them about the issue right there. And then they said, hey, uh, send us a pic. We sent them a pic and... Next thing you know, they send us a whole new SS5. Mm. This is how our new SS5 looks like, our brand new replacements. We are actually going to send this one back to them, put it back here. They gave uh, this to us to mail it back. So this is our new one. So we just wanted to make sure that there's not going to be an issue on those screw. If we decide to change the, the lens. lens so and everything is all nice and yeah. uh, so it's all twisting and all nice and, and loose we have our yellow lens right here and we are now opening up our brand new ss5 so we just removed all the screws mm -hmm. that's how the ss5 looks like we are now swapping it with uh the white to yellow Making sure that it's even. Yeah. Yep. This is the right. Basement. There you go. We just finished removing the old SS5 from the light bar right there. And this was the screw that got jammed or stuck. And we are now putting it back in the box. We just finished putting the light bar back and we're just making some minor adjustments but this is how it looks like when it's all yellow let's see if this works oh oh yeah there's one light that's kind of um yellow or lime green so we just got to reprogram that and then let's turn on the light bar i'm just gonna move this way oh wow it's, it's so uh so yellow so we just finished reprogramming all the lights. We basically pulled all the uh, wires except for the brand new one. And there, all ambered out. And then I'm gonna turn on the, the light bar. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, so cool. And that's how it looks like all yellows now we could actually change it to red red looks really nice all huh, right mm -hmm. we even changed it to pink too or purple pinkish purple mm -hmm. with the yellow if you want to do the the lakers right here so we got this at fresh brothers this is our favorite no. margarita pizza margarita pizza and then mama's favorite mama's favorite all right let's do this drop it let's see now front lights no it's not oh yeah it's, it's not no oh yeah it's not plugged yet 